Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fin Cal, and I'm back with yet another uh, SIP video uh, on mutual funds or uh, the Nifty. Uh, let's see how the 10-year Nifty SIP returns have reduced by almost 50% uh, since the time we have data for it, and the 15-year Nifty SIP returns have gone down by 25% uh, so we need to redefine our expectations uh, from equity in future we need to handle um, uh, how we uh, asset allocate in future and so on so uh, let's get to it so bef but before that quick announcement um, the course is launching uh, hopefully on Thursday uh, if everything is going on right I've just about finished a little more than half of all the videos and few more remain uh, I'll get it done before Thursday hopefully and we should be able to launch the early bird window will be from Thursday to uh, Friday um, it will be available uh, at a amount for 1030 rupees so one time fee you will be getting access to the Facebook group in which you have the videos and then you can uh, watch them uh, whenever you like as many times as you like and so on um, I will send a detailed FAQ post, uh, a question and answer kind of post on the course. What is it about? What is it you expect? So that so that you understand what to expect before you actually buy. I don't want you buying uh, something that you don't understand or don't appreciate. So let me do that. I will try and send it uh, by tomorrow. Like I said, please add patu at freefincare.com to your contact list so that the mails I send don't get into spam or any other folder. You come to your primary folder or at least the updates folder however you have made it is your gmail is set up or any other uh, email is set up all right so let's take a look at this so um, we have data from july 1999 only so and that's a very very short span but we will look at uh, uh, nifty uh, uh, total returns index sips and we'll find out how uh, how they work Please recognize I'm not talking about active versus passive funds here. This is not an active versus passive debate. The Nifty is representative of the Indian stock market. And uh, of course, in the mid cap and small cap segments, the history available is even shorter than this. So nothing can really be said. So uh, if the Nifty falls, the actively managed funds will also typically fall. So there's no, uh, there, there, there's no need to uh, worry too much. If, oh, only Nifty is going down, active funds will be up and so on. That's not true at all. And also, people don't look at how much SIP returns can fluctuate because they they just don't understand it because it's very hard to calculate. I have a mutual uh, mutual fund SIP rolling returns calculator with which uh, this data was generated, and you can also generate any, this uh, similar data with that. Then only you will understand how much the SIP can actually. I have also uh, busted several SIP myths. Uh, um, for example, SIPs do not reduce risk. We will see how much they can fluctuate. The fate of your SIPs will be, decide, uh, will be decided by timing luck. That is, when you start the SIP, it will tell you how much returns you get. Um, uh, even for one month apart, you will see, I'll show you an example where there's a, a big change in the uh, an annualized return of the SIPs. They don't have, mutual funds don't have any compounding effects. Uh, all the wrong expectations with, with investors buy mutual funds and SIP is automated investing. It is not systematic investing. Systematic investing means having a system and then investing. Most people don't have a system. Automated SIP uh, investing. Don't confuse it and don't assume you will get discipline. That's just nonsense. If you think you will get discipline by starting an SIP, you are a fool. That's all I will say. So, uh, Many people don't un understand what I really mean by that. They get offended. You must have a system and stick to it on your own and not uh, ha get it automated. If you are automating it, it's just efficiency. It's, uh, it's time management and efficiency, not discipline. Discipline is something completely different. Mark, if you time the market on your own uh, using indicators, that's discipline. Um, uh, SIP in an uh, S&P 500 which has got a lot longer history can fluctuate for a long uh, for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years and so on. You can have a look at the links. All the links are available here and I will show you what a rolling return SIP means. So we will start from uh, a 5 year SIP from 1st July 1999 and the SIP will end on 1st July 2004. That uh, annualized return is 11%. Suppose we start one month later from 2nd August 1999 to 2nd August 2004, that annualized return 
is 13.4%. So just one month apart, the return is 2% difference. Then you uh, from 1st first, uh, first September 1999 to 1st uh, uh, September 2004, that is 13.3%. And so on and so on and so on, all the way down to 1st January 2020, we will analyze. So uh, this is only about 247 months you get. The total time span is 247 months and you'll get some one, uh, 187 five-year returns and much less returns possible five-year periods uh, windows like the ones I've shown you uh, between 1st July 1999 and 1st January 2020. If you did that, this is the five-year data. So there are something like, uh, how, many, how, how much did I just say, 187, 187 data points are there. Each data point is a five-year SIP return, not lump sum return, SIP return. Notice that it can fluctuate. It, it just, it just kind. You don't know what it is. It can be anything. It can be zero. It can be positive. It can be fifty percent. It can be ten percent. It can be two percent. What work? Look at the ten-year data points. This is where the drop is seen. So initially, at the start of this calculation, you got uh, returns something like twenty percent, close to twenty percent, or about twenty percent. And that has gone down, gone down, gone down, re uh, recovered a little bit, gone down all the way to about uh, six percent, almost like eight percent, recovered a little bit, then back down, and it's now close to 11, 10 percent. So that's like almost like a 50 percent fall uh, drop in uh, returns. And if you look at the 15 year data, it's a lot more nicer, it's a lot more smoother fall. And you can see uh, 16, 17 ish to about 11, 12 ish, that's like a 25, 25 percent drop. That clearly means that the stock market dynamics is changing uh, because what the nifty was in the 1999, what it was in the 2000s, what it was in 2010s and what it's going to be in the 2020s, um, we don't know. And you can see this, uh, notice this, uh, this red line here in this graph is a 10 year P average. That's a rolling average of the 10 year P and that keeps moving up. So. Uh, Around 2008-2009, uh, you would have said 18-19 is high PE. Today, high PE is 22-23. Right? Nobody knows. So we don't know high PE, low PE. So high PE based um, uh, uh, timing can be very troublesome. I have a feeling probably this is why Franklin uh, Fund of Funds dynamic PE changed from dynamic PE to dynamic PE plus PB. I don't know. I have a feeling that's the reason. That's my speculation. I can't uh, justify that. So what should investors do? They must look into asset allocation again. They must have a target corpus. Forget harping on returns. Uh, assume not more than 10% return before tax from your entire equity portfolio. If you're lucky, you will get 10% after tax, but expect 10% before tax. Um, you, uh, you some, if you are not able to invest enough, then you may need to increase your asset allocation to 70%. Uh, in the whole in the in the goal based investing course i'm going to show you how you how you can decrease or change this asset allocation as you head near the goal we're going to discuss strategies for that so you have to have an asset allocation plan in place and you must uh, uh, try to increase uh, your investing i think the only way to combat the lower returns is the right not it's not increasing asset allocation because that will increase risk i think the right way to do it is to increase the investment amount and start as soon as possible, start as early as possible. Increase the equity exposure uh, quickly to a high value. Most people have trouble doing that. And then you have to taper it down uh, faster than you will uh, recognize. That's what I'm going to discuss in the course. But please start.